क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन टेक्स्ट वन लिटिल इज नोन अबाउट हाउ प्लेट टेक्टोनिक्स वेर इन स्लैब्स ऑफ अर्थ क्रस्ट मूव ओवर अंडर अवे फ्रॉम एंड अगेंस्ट वन अनादर बिगैन सम रिसर्चर्स कंटेंट दैट टेक्टोनिक मूवमेंट्स बिगैन अराउंड थ्री बिलियन ईयर्स अगो आफ्टर नोटिंग दैट कंप्यूटर मॉडल्स ऑफ अर्थ्स मैंटल टेम्परेचर एट द टाइम इंडिकेट दैट द मैंटल वुड हैव बीन सफिशेंटली मोल्टन टू एनेबल द प्लेट्स टू मूव टेक्स टू अल्टीमेटली एनी प्लॉजिबल क्लेम अबाउट द इंसेप्शन ऑफ टेक्टोनिक मूवमेंट मस्ट रेस्ट ऑन एम्पेरिकल एविडेंस फ्रॉम द जियोलॉजिकल रिकॉर्ड रिसर्चर वृजू चौधरी एंड हिज टीम एनालाइज द जियो केमिस्ट्री ऑफ जिरकॉन क्रिस्टल्स टू गेन इन साइट इन टू द केमिकल कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ द मैगमा फ्रॉम विच द क्रिस्टल्स फॉर्म एंड बेस्ड ऑन द डेटा कंपेलिंगली आर्ग्यू दैट प्लेट टेक्टोनिक्स मे हैव बीन अकरिंग एज अर्ली एज फोर पॉइंट टू बिलियन ईयर्स अगो बेस्ड ऑन द टेक्स हाउ वुड द ऑथर ऑफ टेक्स टू मोस्ट लाइकली रिस्पॉन्ड टू वॉट सम रिसर्चर्स कंटेंट एज डिस्क्राइब्ड इन टेक्स वन is it a by suggesting that the temperature of earth's mantle 3 billion years ago was likely insufficient to allow for the level of tectonic movement predicted by computer models b by distinguishing between computer models of earth's mantle temperature that reliably predict the onset of plate tectonics and those that do not c by indicating that computer models of earth's mantle temperature are still being improved such that new models tend to be much more reliable than their predecessors D by asserting that a more definitive form of evidence than the computer model suggests a different timeline for the onset of plate tectonics on earth so what should we do we have to based on the text what would author of text 2 most likely respond to what some researchers contend as described in text 1 so in text 1 we can see that little is known about how plate tectonics slabs of earth crust move and against each other began that's what it says and then it's talking about some researchers what they contend that tectonic uh, movements began around 3 billion years ago and then it is talking about computer models of earth and the temperature at the time indicate that the mantle would have been sufficiently molten to enable the plates to move that is what is mentioned in text 1 now what about text 2 text 2 says plausible claim about inception of tectonic movement must rest on empirical evidence from geological record and it's also talking about a researcher riju choudhury and his team who have analyzed geochemistry of zircon crystals so in this one there's a specific mention of the geochemistry and some research to gain insight into the chemical composition of the magma from which the crystals formed so then based on that compellingly argue that plate tectonics may have been occurring as early as 4.2 billion years ago so in the first one text one it is 3 billion years ago in the second one it is 4.2 billion years ago so which should we choose so if you said d well done that is the correct answer choice d is the best answer because it reflects how the author of text 2 would most likely respond to what the researchers mentioned in text 1 contend Text one discusses the lack of knowledge of how plate tectonics of Earth began. Text one also mentions researchers who contend that movements of tectonic plates began around three billion years ago. As support for this assertion, these researchers cite computer models, which are simulations, not empirical evidence of the temperature of Earth's mantle, that show that at that time, the mantle would have been sufficiently molten for plates to move. However the author of text 2 asserts that empirical evidence from the geological record is necessary to make plausible claims about when tectonic movement began Text 2 mentions an analysis performed by Riju Choudhury and his team of the geochemistry of zircon crystals which would constitute empirical evidence Choudhury and his team argue based on this analysis that tectonic plates may have begun to move as early as 4.2 billion years ago Therefore since the author of text 2 would consider Choudhury et al's empirical evidence to be more conclusive than the computer model cited in text 1 So that's what choice D says by asserting that a more definitive form of evidence than the computer model suggests a different timeline for the onset of plate tectonics because the second text has empirical data So the author of text 2 would most likely assert that a more definitive form of evidence than the computer model suggests a different timeline or the onset of plate tectonics on earth. Choice A is incorrect because the author of text 2 
makes no claims about the temperature of earth's mantle and therefore wouldn't argue that temperature of earth's mantle 3 billion years ago was insufficient to allow tectonic movement choice b is incorrect the author of text 2 claims that empirical evidence is needed to fix the earliest date of tectonic movement computer models are simulations not empirical evidence so the author of text 2 wouldn't distinguish between different kinds of computer models but would instead argue that no computer models can reliably predict the onset of plate tectonics. Choice C is incorrect because the author of text 2 wouldn't consider any computer model to be able to provide evidence to support a plausible claim about tectonic movement, no matter how much such models were improved. The author of text 2 would only accept empirical evidence. So I hope that's it.